Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The situation regarding the Iraqi Dinar and developments in the Middle East has become increasingly complex, with a notable surge in organized misinformation clouding the narrative. The prevailing rumor suggests that significant financial changes are imminent, particularly concerning the Iraqi Dinar. According to various sources, a crucial green light was reportedly given yesterday, with expectations for major changes to occur between now and the 5th of August. This timeline aligns with speculation that Iraq is poised to implement substantial changes, potentially including a significant adjustment in the dinar's value. The delay in Iraq's budget implementation appears to be directly linked to the anticipated rate change. Key aspects of Iraq's financial strategy including budget approvals, legislative reforms, and updates to the oil and gas laws are currently stalled. This delay is strategically timed to coincide with the expected rate adjustment, underscoring the interdependence between these financial reforms and the broader economic framework. In a bid to reassure and attract expatriates, Iraqi officials are actively promoting the country's economic prospects. Notably, Saidani, a prominent figure, is urging those who have left Iraq to return. Through various communication channels, including the internet and personal outreach, he is emphasizing the benefits of returning to Iraq. Saidani promises that new lower denomination notes and revised currency values will enhance purchasing power and offer robust protection for businesses and investments. This message is designed to rejuvenate confidence among expatriates, encouraging them to reinvest and contribute to Iraq's economic revival. Despite these optimistic announcements, skepticism remains about the implementation of monetary reforms and other legislative measures. For instance, the anticipated activation of the oil and gas law at a rate of 1,310 liters is viewed with doubt. Critics question why such pivotal reforms, which have been pending for nearly two decades, have not yet been finalized. The repeated assertion that these reforms are imminent, despite years of delays, raises concerns about their actual feasibility and timing. The pressure on Iraq to finalize these reforms and advance its economic policies is mounting. Proponents of the reform are optimistic, citing strong indications that everything is in place and that the necessary approvals are imminent. There is a sense of urgency as the end of the week approaches, with many hopeful that the anticipated changes will be implemented soon. The call for expatriates to return and invest in Iraq adds another layer of complexity, reflecting the government's strategy to leverage both domestic and international support. Recent communication from various sources, including a phone call received on Monday, underscores the sense of urgency and the need for preparation. This call, along with ongoing efforts by Don and his administrative team at the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, highlights the concerted push to engage expatriates and prepare them for forthcoming changes. As the situation evolves, it remains clear that while optimism is high, concrete developments are awaited with bated breath. The timing of these changes remains uncertain, but many observers are closely monitoring the situation, hopeful that the end of the week may bring clarity and progress.